Anybody hungry? You know, my kids are always telling me that they're starving. But yet they ate like 15 minutes ago. Even our youngest, who's four, would go, come on, I'm starving. And yet there's food all around them. There's food that they haven't eaten in their lunchbox. You know, our concept of starving is so flawed. Just think about it. If you're hungry, there's a fast food place around the corner. Such convenience. There's so much options and so much choice when it comes to food. We actually don't hunger for much. Today I want to challenge you uh, on fasting. So thank you for joining our Faith Lift video. And trust this week has been a good one because we've been in a series of Nehemiah. Uh, and it's a book that's written about building hope in uncertain times. And Nehemiah is called to rebuild Jerusalem. It's walls and its gates. And the question I asked was, what are the spiritual walls that you need to rebuild or strengthen at this time in your own life? And so I started with meditation, which is really just learning to be able to hear God's voice and to know His Word. We then spoke about prayer uh, and the challenge of praying regularly. And then Bible study, actually spending time in God's Word. Now fasting may be something that's new to many of us. Uh, fasting is about not eating or drinking at certain times and then rather to spend that time in prayer. Not many people fast, but when you go to scripture, you'll see that fasting was a common occurrence. Jesus himself even fasted for 40 days. A great definition by uh, Richard Foster is abstaining for, from food for spiritual reasons. Abstaining from food for spiritual reasons. You know, what are the spiritual reasons you have to fast? Is there a situation where you need God to act? Is there a, uh, an answer from God in a prayer that you've been praying? These would be the spiritual reasons to fast. And so my challenge to you this week is, what about building the foundation of fasting? Now there's different types of fasting. There's a complete, no water for a limited period, i.e. like 24 hours, but you can still have water. Or a partial, where it's only between certain times and from certain things. Maybe you'll give up coffee. I know that may be crazy for two weeks. But one of the things I want to urge you to do is, as you consider fasting, start slow and easy. But really, what are the spiritual reasons that you need in your life? That you need God to act, to speak, to show Himself in? Why don't you take it to God through fasting? And remember, when you're hungry, the point is to focus on God in prayer. I remember being a part of a team and we used to fast. Uh, and one of the things I used to pray was, God, make us really hungry. Remind us about why we're doing this. Not just a day to not eat food but really actually thirst and hunger after Him above all things in this world. So let's pray. Lord, I just pray for each person today as they go out that their hearts may be heavy waiting on You for answer and prayer or in a situation. But Lord, I, I pray that this challenge of fasting would be something that we, as we learn to deny ourselves, to, to bring our own bodies under control but that the focus would be on you, to realize that we need you above all things, and to find our fulfillment in you first. So Lord, I pray for each person today that may take up this challenge to start fasting in a, in a small way, and then grow in that relationship in your leading. I pray that they would know you more, be blessed by it. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day.